The jungle is a crucial part of America's social and literary history at the turn of the 20th century. Author and socialist agitator Upton Sinclair swears it is all true. Follow the detective work of scholar Gidris Sabakis as he uncovers the real people and places that inhabit the book that turned America's stomach. Author, professor, and Lithuanian immigrant himself, Gidris Sabakis has teamed with veteran documentary filmmaker Risa Sanders and fellow scholar Randy Richards to make this documentary. We decided to make this film to show the story behind the story. What Sinclair did, he came here and he met real concrete people with blood and with names. In 1904, Upton Sinclair came to Chicago's meatpacking district on a mission to expose wage slavery and reform working conditions for America's most vulnerable laborers. He was 26 years old writer, young, uh, very ambitious. He had a deal from a socialist newspaper editor. He gave Sinclair $500 to write a novel the writer spent seven weeks in Chicago researching his book. He sat with workers, lawyers, and saloon keepers and listened to their stories. Later, Sinclair would claim in a newspaper interview, I have not invented the smallest detail. Everything that has been there described has, to my own positive knowledge, happened to someone in that neighborhood. People were really living that life that he's describing. The novel really does sort of capture uh, a moment in American history, the kind of confrontation between these immigrant people and the very violent sort of uh, industrial system. Sinclair's research had given him a storyline, but no set of characters who could grip a reader's emotions. Then, on a bleak November afternoon, I noticed a crowd in front of a saloon, and I pushed my way in, and behold, there was the opening scene of my story, a gift from the gods. It was a Lithuanian wedding party. Sinclair later said that he memorized whole passages while he sat watching the celebration. Through an investigation that would make any detective proud, Gidris Sabakis found the saloon where the party took place and... We can say with almost certainty that we located real life wedding couple through interviews with the couple's granddaughter and the saloon keeper's granddaughter, the stories of the real people in Sinclair's jungle will emerge. Lithuanian immigrants, uh, most of them, they were peasants or farmers in Lithuania. They were used to very different way of life there, but they knew American dream. The mythology uh, of Chicago that kind of spread through Europe probably exaggerated the uh, possibilities in a place like that. And so um, some of the problems that a, a family encounters, um, I think probably were surprises to some extent. In the jungle, Sinclair created a fictional family to represent an entire community. But where did the characters' names come from? You imagine that if you are angry meat packer, angry because of the jungle, so you find this last name in the book, you find uh, the same name in the working laborers list in your factory and you fire him. So Sinclair used the names of saloon keepers, socialist agitators and shop owners, people the meat packers couldn't touch. We are in uh, Lithuanian St. Casimir Cemetery in Chicago. There are many people that Sinclair met. They are here, they all, most of them came here. And uh, here we can trace down uh, name donors or the wedding couple that he, Sinclair saw and described so nicely. 
Sinclair's book was an instant bestseller, but not everyone liked his blending of fact and fiction. Muckraker was the derisive term President Theodore Roosevelt coined for Sinclair and this brand of sensational journalism. The jungle contributed to the passage of the Pure Food and Drug Act of 1906. But scholars and journalists have debated its artistic merits for more than a hundred years. So why is the book still a part of the American experience? It's the story of um, humanity. We accomplished a lot in the course of industrialization in the United States, but you know, we gave up a certain amount as well. The jungle is a place to see that, not through statistics, but to see it and to kind of measure it for yourself in human terms. Interviews with authors, historians, and descendants. A dramatic recreation of the Lithuanian wedding itself and the detective story to find the true identities of the people and places will combine to create an understanding of the jungle and its place in American history. What we wanted to show, it's close to the life, not this abstract, to make it live again.